I hope if you're in Canada that you are having a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. And to all my American friends, yes, it is our Thanksgiving this weekend, but I know that you have your Thanksgiving a little bit closer to Christmas. So just different dates, but equally as an important holiday as it is in the States, it is in Canada a really great time to just surround yourself with family and friends and give thanks uh, because we really have so much to be thankful for. On a brand new makeup line to me and fairly new in the marketplace. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about Merit Beauty, if you haven't heard about them. So um, this is not sponsored. I did not get a PR package as much as that would have been really wonderful. But um, Merit caught my eye on a couple of videos and I just kind of love the whole aesthetic of it, the whole idea of it. And if you're interested in seeing whether Merit Beauty is good for the 45 plus working gal, well, you're in the right spot. Just keep watching this video. And do me a favor, if you are new here and you like this type of content, then please just smash that like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way you'll be kept abreast of when I upload my latest videos. All right. Um, like many of you may be feeling that the makeup world is getting oversaturated with products like every day every week there is like more eyeshadow palettes more concealers more foundations that's one of the reasons why merit merit beauty caught my attention because merit beauty is a clean makeup brand that follows strict EU guidelines for clean makeup products, also meets the criteria for the Sephora clean product uh, check uh, that you will notice on a lot of the, uh, the Sephora products, and you may have even seen Merit in Sephora like the last year. Uh, the brand is actually created by a lady by the name of Catherine Power, and she is kind of behind a couple of lines that hit Target, but one of them in particular is Versed skincare. So if you're in Target, sadly we don't have any more Targets in Canada, but if you're in the United States then you may have seen her versed skincare line so you have some familiarity with what sort of product she makes. Next, I only have five items with me, but there are a total of, I believe, seven. Um, I think I'm missing an eyebrow gel, a mascara, and sorry, there might be eight. Oh, and the cream bronzer, but I have all the other products. And the other thing I will say that I like about it is you can buy the individual products from Merit Beauty, which I'll leave the link below, but she has a cluster of all different types of combinations of makeup. And I believe that the uh, the kit or the combo that I ordered was the complexion combo. Um, we're just gonna start off with um, this wonderful package that you get. So anytime that you order your first order off of Merit Beauty, you will get no shipping fees charged, no duties will be charged, and you get this absolutely, I mean, for this time of year, the perfect complement to your clean makeup, which is this gorgeous corduroy kind of like amber um, makeup bag. And then of course it just ties and then everything is inside this bag. And just to note, even though I have taken them all out of their packages, all of the packaging, of course, is recyclable as well. So that is really nice. I just had to show this bag because I threw it into my suitcase because I just came back from a two-day conference in another city, and I just loved it. It, it held actually quite a few other little things um, like mascaras and some other stuff that I just threw in together as my makeup kit. But let's start off with the first product, which I think, like just by the way, I would apply it. And this is the Minimalist Foundation Stick. So I am just going to um, insert a picture for you. It's a foundation, uh, foundation and concealer hybrid stick that blends seamlessly into your skin, comes in 20 different shades. It's got a creamy texture, not dry down, and gives you a matte finish. So I hope I did it justice there. 
And this is what it looks like. And then this is the actual color of Dune right there, which I, I kind of thought was a perfect fit. Now, the idea of this generally, because it's minimalistic makeup, is not to just slather your entire face with this uh, minimalistic complexion uh, kit stick. It is actually to just kind of like get it on where you think you have some redness, some hyperpigmentation, um, just where you kind of need that touch up. So I have been applying it just kind of like the corner of my eye. I've been doing it around by my nose, certainly the Meritonet lines like here. And I'm doing these upward strokes because I was watching a TikTok video and they were saying how you can give yourself kind of like a facelift just by kind of angling your makeup. So, and it has no smell to it. It just goes on so seamlessly, actually, that I just love it. I think it's just beautiful. Now, this is like the part that will cover kind of like you know, any redness or imperfections, but it's not supposed to be like a complete face mask. It is going to allow you to kind of perfect your skin tone without actually masking it. So if you have freckles or that sort of thing, it's still going to show through. So understand it is not a full coverage. The next product that I want to talk about out of the five that I bought is their number one brush. So you can see I already use this, um, but it is just the softest, softest brush uh, and then it's quite dense and it's cut at an angle, which is just really, really nice. I just noticed my swatch. So I'm going to take my swatch off just so I have it. And then the idea of it is really you're just to dot around the face. So that's what I have been doing. And I've been finding that that works great. Now, I was a little concerned because it gives that matte foundation and I was hoping it wouldn't be too drying, but I have yet to find this foundation stick to be too drying, but I also pre-moisturize my face. So I don't know if that'll help you if you have really, really dry skin. And I also don't know how to speak about this minimalistic foundation stick if you have oily skin, because I don't have oily skin. I have a little in the T-zone. But you can see just by applying it, and this is just, again, it's so soft that it literally just melts into your skin where you can't really see where the foundation and your skin sort of end, you know? It's absolutely beautiful, but I just kind of get to the areas that I think I need it, like I definitely need it over here because I have some hyperpigmentation. But you guys, I mean, look at how little I used and just how sort of smoothing and... Now, like I said, this is a matte finish, but I, again, I just didn't find it at all drying. Um, I just thought that it was really, really nice. And I wasn't sure because with the 20 shades, you have to go online to kind of match it up. Um, the website does help a little, but um, I think Dune is like the perfect color complement for me. So like I said before, this is a combo hybrid stick. So it's also meant to be a concealer. Again, very worried about this type of product, creamy product, because I don't want anything settling into fine lines and wrinkles. But you guys, I don't know what kind of magic is in this stick, but honestly, like I put it here and then I won't use the brush. I like to apply it with my fingers to warm it up, but whatever is in this cream, whatever magic is in this cream, it just doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. And uh, if you know you have really, un, you know, if you sweat a lot, if you have a lot more sort of perspiration or oils to your face in this area, then you can certainly take a powder puff with a little bit of, um, you know, translucent powder. Not a big powder fan, therefore that's not something that I would generally do. But you can see very, very quickly I'll apply a little bit on my chin because it's looking redder than the rest of my face. 
you can just see how incredibly easy that is to apply. Um, they call this the Flush Bombs. So I believe there there's five different shades. I got my uh, Flush Bomb in the color Cheeky, which I will swatch for you now, which is just a very soft kind of pink. Um, it's just super pretty. I do it a number of ways. I have taken the brush, just dabbed it on, and then but I really do actually like to apply it directly to the kind of cheek area and and then buff it in with the brush from there. So again, this is really actually like at first I thought, ooh, you know, is this really pigmented? Will it blend like the foundation stick? But you will quickly see actually that it really is pigmented. You could really build this up. But the beauty of this foundation is it just literally melts again. Almost impossible to mess up with any of these cream products. I mean, I just love it. I'm gonna just take a little bit on the bridge of my nose just because I like that look. I just feel it's like kind of like apres ski or something. Do you know what I mean? Like I just think it's so pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit of blush on the top of my very high forehead. And again, depending on how blushy a look you want, you can just go in and dab and just pick up a little bit more and then just kind of tap it on and just let it just melt into your skin. But you'll quickly see that just having those two products on just creates a really fresh and almost like, like healthy, healthy skin, which is just lovely because at no point do any of these products feel cakey, heavy, textured, which I think is probably one of my favorites. And because of this great success I've had with these Merit Beauty products, I'm probably gonna try their mascara and their cream bronzer because those also interest me. But this is the Merit Day Glow Cream Highlighter. Uh, this Day Glow Balm Highlighter comes in two shades, Kava and Bounce, and I got Kava because it is like the true, the truest of the champagne kind of highlighters. And the other one is kind of like a pink rose gold. But this has no fragrance added to it. But you guys, when I put this on, just wait till you see, it just gives you that oh so fresh, like little kiss of highlight. And again, you know, you could use the brush. I use my fingers. And it just gives you that look like you just have glass-like skin, like glass skin. Absolutely beautiful. You go outside and it just looks like that you have come from the spa and that your skin is literally that Korean glass-like skin. I'm actually gonna just take a little bit of that and I'm going to apply that just to the center of my lids just because we're doing a very minimalistic eyeshadow or makeup look and I'm not going to be applying any um, like eyeshadow, which is gonna be weird for me, but we are definitely going minimalistic on this makeup look for Merit. The last product, again, the day glow in this last product, I just love, but it's hard to choose because they've all worked so well for me, but I just love the packaging, love the formulation, and this one is the Merit Signature Lips. Like, So look at the packaging to start with. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I waited till this color was in stock because I'd seen a few people receive it in PR and it's called Millennial. And I was like, I just have to have this lipstick. This is like the perfect compliment, I think. This is like a satin finish lipstick that goes on and it's just so soft, so comfortable, so... I don't know, complimentary to the whole cheeky flush bomb. And I love it. I should just give you a swatch so you can see it, but you have to go onto the website to really be able to appreciate 
these um, actual uh, lipsticks. This is one of eight shades. So you can see it's all very complementary to that lovely sort of pink and fresh family of colors. It's definitely in my wheelhouse and I completely love it. So aside of doing my eyes like mascara, Merit Beauty Minimalistic no hassle, like a, the real antidote to the oversaturated makeup world with this line of makeup. And you can feel good about putting it on your face because you know there's not all those added chemicals uh, that we know are in more traditional makeup. And no dues, no shipping fees. It's just wonderful. And of course, this delightful corduroy makeup bag that I just think is like a perfect accompaniment to this very like no fuss, easy, minimalistic makeup brand. And I will definitely list all the items down below. This is my very minimalistic, easy on, easy out the door makeup look that basically just lets my skin sort of shine through. Beautiful, comfort, satin sort of feel to the lips absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys really like this video and I hope that you're all having an absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving weekend or wherever you are that you're surrounded by people that love you and until we talk next week I hope you have all have an absolutely fabulous week. Take care.